Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. We have an intermediate full body workout. This workout is going to energize your body. So come along, meet me on a mat. We're going to start the class sitting down. So let's find our diamond leg position. Upright spine, perching on your sitting bone. Let's take our arms out to the side here. We'll start with some lateral flexion. Let's go over to you as we inhale. And then exhale as we take the arm over to the side. Inhale, we lift the spine. And then over towards me, side bend. And take the top arm over. And we lift the spine up. And to you, in breath. Exhale. In breath, we lengthen. Exhale, return. Over to me, in breath. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, come back. And to you, inhale. Exhale, over. Now here, hold for a moment. I'd like you to draw the abdominal wall in and pull back and rotate the spine diagonally, reaching the arm long. Come back to the side facing, up and upright over to me side flexion and we add rotation by drawing the abdominal in reaching um in um direction in a rotation direction and back to the side coming up let's do one more time inhale over to you side bend and we rotate in flexion come back side facing and come up Last one, over to me, please. And side bend and rotate in flexion and back to the side and coming up. And now something a little bit fun. Over to you, side flexion. We rotate and then we're gonna move around to the other side, side flexion and come up right again, over to me and side flexion we rotate and we spin around over to the other side into side flexion and we come back up last set and side bend rotate and over to the other side side flexion and come up last one side flexion rotate and we spin around, reach away, keep the arms long, and side flexion, and come back up. Excellent. Let's take the arms forward here. Again, find your sitting position. From here, we go into C curve. We roll the spine back. We try to get that sacrum and the lower spine down to the floor. We hold that on knee breath. Exhale, we peel back up again. And then we lengthen the spine upright two more times. Exhale, C curve. We roll back. Get that deep flexion through the spine as you roll down. We in breath, we hold. We exhale, we come up. Then we lengthen the spine one more time. And we round. We roll back. Sacrum down, lower back melting, neck is long, inhale, exhale, peel off, 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 and we'll lift up. Now we're going to go down again, we're holding that chest lift position, we round back again, we curl back down, right down to that chest lift position, open the arm slightly wider than your thigh, and bring the leg closer to me up, and lower, and up, chest is open gaze is forward two more pelvis is stable definitely last one then we change other side imagine you have a glass of champagne resting on your pelvis we want to keep that champagne glass absolutely sturdy up one more up lower hole arms forward roll up and we lift up tall again we roll back all the way down to that chest lift position open the arms slightly wider than your feet 
not the feet, the thigh, feet together. Bring both legs up this time in that diamond shape. We lower. And then deep, deep flex that belly in, into the spine. We lift. Two more. Last one. Hold. Close the thigh together. Open the arms to a T position. Rest your chest and the arms down. Ready for our spine twist supine. Over to me, please, as we in breath. Exhale. Back to center. Inhale over to you. Exhale. And to me. Anchor the shoulders down. Anchor the back of your arms down. Try to spin around from the waistline here. Legs are together at all time. Inhale. Imagine you are a mermaid or a merman. Your fin is just rotating to the left and right. And come back. Let's do one more set. Inhale to me. Exhale. Come in center. Over to you. Exhale, come back center, and then we lower both legs down with control. Okay, keep them together, interlacing the hands in the back of your thighs. Not the back of your thighs, the back of your head. Here we go. All right, elbows are slightly off the floor. We go lifting up as we breathe out. Inhale, we pass. Exhale, we come down for the chest lift. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, we come down. Exhale, inhale, hold. Exhale, come down. Inhale, prepare. And in breath. Exhale. Next one, we stay up. Exhale. Inhale, we hold. Squeeze the legs together. Both legs comes up as you breathe out. We lower, tap the feet. Exhale. We tap. Exhale. We tap. Exhale. We tap. Three more. Stay there. Two. One, lower and stay, point your feet, grab the back of your thighs, lift the chest a little higher, and then transfer your hands back behind your head, rotate your legs towards me, so a little spine twist, supine here, tiny little one, maybe about 20 degrees, and lower the chest down. Now we're going to do our oblique chest lift this way. So make sure the knees are together here. Breathe out. We'll lift. Forward. In. Come back down. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Return. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Return. And three more. Two more. Last one, we stay up. As you exhale, rotate the legs back to center. Keep the feet pointed. Over to you. We stay and then we lower the chest down. Again, exhale. In breath. And. In breath. Legs are staying together, please. And three more. Two. One. Hold that. Exhale. Return the legs back to center. Straighten one leg out. Second leg on, guess what? Stretch the arms forward, squeeze the heels, roll up, breathe up. 
Uh, pull the abs in, whatever's left there, into that C curve. Let's roll down again. Get the sacrum down to the floor. Get the lower spine down to the floor. Can we keep the chest open and take the arms overhead? Let's be a bit precise here, okay? As you inhale, the arms come up, followed by the head and the chest. If the arms will arrive to the side of your body. And then using that abdominal, peel the spine, tuck your bum a little bit to help yourself up into that C curve. All right, let's do that again. And the first thing's going to happen is you curl the tailbone underneath you to move the sacrum back to the floor. Lower spine to the floor. Then once in the chest lift position, arms come up and the head return and the arms go overhead. Let's go one more time. Inhale, arms float up. Then head lift, chest lift, arms to the side of the body here. Gaze is forward and you pick up the abdominal, you lift the spine, you go into that C curve, okay? Now I want you to roll back about 20 degrees, bend the knees, grab the shin just above the ankle, for the rolling like a ball. Let's do three rolls. We inhale, we roll back, exhale, balance. Inhale, roll back, exhale, balance. One more, roll back, exhale, Balance, stretch your legs into that C curve. We roll back again for the roll ups. All the way down, take the arms overhead. One roll up, three rolling like a ball in left. Exhale into that C curve. Pull back a little bit, drag the legs, grab the shin, and we rock and balance. Guard your legs with your arms muscle and balance. Last one. And balance. Straighten the legs into that C curve. And we roll back for the roll ups. Arms overhead. One more set here. Inhale, left. Exhale. Pick up the abdominals into that C curve. Pull back a little bit. Drag the legs in. Grab the shin above the ankles, guard your legs, and roll. Three, exhale, and two, exhale, and one. Exhale, straighten the legs, C curve, we roll back, 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 to the chest lift only. One leg up to tabletop, second leg up to tabletop, grab the shin near the knees, Lift the chest a little higher for the double leg stretch. Inhale, shoot the legs and the arms away. Can we have those fingers together perhaps? Exhale, we drag them back. Inhale, staying in a deep flexion in the lower abs and the middle abs and come back. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, come back. I'm thinking I want to create a shape like a boomerang. In fact, this is your preparation for boomerang, which is an advanced exercise in Pilates. And again, so deep core connection here. Get the lower back melting to the floor. Exhale. Last one, we stay out. Hold that little flutter kick. Inhale. Like a river swimming. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, we hold them together, pull back, awesome, lower one foot, second one down, stretch your legs long, arms by the side, let's lower the chest down for a moment, arms overhead, I think we deserve a little break, and let's roll up again, inhale, chest lift, squeeze the legs together, and let's pick up, 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 C curve, upright, Grab those ankles, open leg rocker. Grab one, grab two. Find your tailbone, find your sitting bone, balance around those three points, straighten the legs, one, two. If the straight legs is not available for you today, go ahead and go into a diamond leg. Absolutely fine. So if you're joining me with straight legs, let's go. Extend the knees. Reach the toes out, lengthening through the crown of your head. You really need to guard your lats muscle here. So pull the lats down, connect the front upper abdominal there. 
and let's rock. Inhale, we roll back and balance. The key to this beautiful open leg rocker is you need to engage your inner thighs, right? And you need to think about reaching the feet forward and up through the spine to balance your body. So as you come forward, legs forward, but up to the crown of your head. And again, and legs forward diagonally, but you wanna go up with the spine. Two more. And forward, whoa, I didn't make that one. And not enough forward my legs. And now go tall. Let's go one more time, because I didn't make one round. Lengthening forward and lift up. Brilliant. And legs together. Bring them down, cross the leg onto a quadruped position, please. We are going to have the feet tucked under, or the toes, more like it. Align your shoulders with the heel of your palm. Align your knees with the center of your hip. All right, spine is nice and long. Punch the hands down to the floor to push the spine away off the floor. Then we breathe out. Let's draw that transverse abdominus muscle, so basically, Wrap your abdominal with that natural course that you have inside your body and float the knees off. We stay for 10, nine, strong arms, seven, six, gaze is down to the floor, neck is long, four, three, two, one, we lower the knee. Now we're going to float again, but this time we're gonna add some tricep push up. So we press up, we float the knees. We send the elbows back, we lower the chest, and we press. Let's do five, in breath. And if this is too challenging for you, please go ahead and have your knees down on the floor. But join us, or join me, with a push-up too. One more. And press up, lower the knees. Let's do one more time. We float, we bend. Five, four, three, two, one. We stay up, send the pelvis up to an upstretch position. Pushing the floor away with your arms. And then go ahead and lower both heels down. All right, it's just a moment to stretch. The back of our legs here, neck is long. Let's do some prancing. We lift one heel up and we switch. And we switch. And we inhale. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. In breath. Exhale. In breath. In breath. Last set. In breath, in breath, and lower both heels down. And can we stretch a little deeper? Can we send the pelvis a little higher? Send your sitting bone out to the space and keep the heels anchoring down. All right, now we're going to do a little series with the lunges and let's take the leg away from me, right? Forward. So the leg away from me. Now lift the body up, open the arms out to the side here. Now stay low as low as you can. You need to align the front knee and the heel in vertical alignment and balance. Now from here, send the back knee down, curl the bottom under, just touching the floor and we'll take it up, straighten up. And tuck the knees in, tuck the bottom, lift the front abs, just touching the floor, and we stretch out. One more here, and we stretch out. Now the open side arm, which is my left arm, here is gonna be the other side. You're gonna rotate away from me, place that hand on the inside of the front leg, and rotate the upper arms up to the sky. So you probably will be turning away, facing away from me. Just stay there. Inhale, lengthening up the arms to the sky, find length through the spine. Exhale, 
See if you can access a deeper rotation through the spine. And then take the top arm down on the inside of the front foot. Then you're going to rotate and pivot the leg to me for a side lunge, like so. You should be facing me. And come up, straighten the leg. Other side, side lunge. And then straighten the leg. And again, side lunge. And straight and pick up that pelvic floor here. And, and pick up that pelvic floor, lift up. One more each side. And lift up. And last. And lift up. I like, go back to the other side. There. Now we're going to rotate ourselves and pivot to a lunge and take the arm down rotate to the back so we're going to reverse what we did before so find that rotation in the lunge in the forward lunge position lengthen the arms up as we inhale exhale excess a deeper rotation if it's possible and now come up into that balance lunge position for the hip flexors we go down and back, back knee down, and straighten, one more, down, and straighten, both hands down, forward, front foot, step back, up stretch, high pelvis, long straight back, lower the heels down, lift the heels again, we're going to do that again, Starting from this side. So the leg away from me, step it forward into your lunge. So exactly the same like you had before. Open the arms out to the side and go into that forward lunge. And we go down and straight and down and straight. One more down and straight rotate. Hand inside of the front foot, spin the body up, look up to the sky, press down with the bottom arm, lift up with the top arm, reach back with the back heel, reach forward with the front knee, and lengthen up, inhale, exhale, find more rotation. Top arm will go down on the inside of the front foot. Pivot your body facing me into that lunge. Forward, up, Coming up, got that? All right, other side here. Now, if you like to, you can go lower, take the arms forward if it's available to you. If not, just do what we did before. Lift, straighten, other side, lunge, go down, lift, straighten, and down if it's available. If not, just stay up and straighten, bend, down, up, whoop, I lost my balance, there we go, and got it, last one here, lunge, down, we'll lift, stay, pivot over, rotate our body, top arm up, we stay, lengthening up through the sky, reaching forward with the front knee, Reaching back with the back heel. Exhale, and let's come up to that lunge position again. Back knee, three times, down. Lift, two, lift, one. Lift, both hands down. Step back, up stretch. Send the pelvis high, lower the heels. In breath, exhale, lift the heels up, drop the knees down and turn yourself facing me for the moment. Let's copy my legs. All right, I have my right knee in front, should be your left. Anchor the pelvis down to the floor, open your arms out to the side for the mermaid. We lift, lean away, 
and we're going to rotate from the bottom shoulder. Rotate the body facing the front of the mat and then move the arm forward. Move the arm to the side of the body. Rotate the body, face me, keep the spine long. Come on up and lateral stretch. Upright, lengthen, down, rotate the body, move the other arm forward, open the arm, rotate, face me, engage both obliques, come on up, and side stretch. One more, out, lean diagonally, arm down, rotate the body, move the arm, open the arm, rotate, Face me and off we go, upright, side, bend, left and spin the leg just like that over to the other side and we go, side, lengthening and we rotate the body and we sweep the arm across and open the arms, rotate the body and we come back, lateral stretch. And again, out, lean away, rotate the body and sweep the arm across the floor. Open the arms to the side of the body, rotate the body, face me, engage those obliques and we're left with the spine tall, lateral stretch. Again, lean, rotate, sweep the arm, open the arm, open the body to me, up, lateral stretch, and come back onto our front, please. All right, let's start with back extension, which is our uh, Beginner fundamental exercise, and then we move on to swimming. So arms are long down by the side here, your legs are long. Really try to lift that lower abdominal up so you can lengthen the lower spine away from the floor. We inhale, we lift the spine up. Gaze is down to the floor still. Exhale, we come down. Again, inhale, power through your legs, reaching the legs away from the pelvis as you lift the spine up. Exhale, we come down. Let's do it two more times, please. Inhale, up. Exhale, we come down. It's super important that we always train our upper back so we can maintain that beautiful long spine position when we stand because the gravity is very powerful. And come down, it's gonna make you hunch your back easily if you don't strengthen that back. Now let's come up again, lift up, but it's the last one before. This is the last, last one. Circle the arms forward, neck is long, float the legs off. Swimming, right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And let's go fast, inhale for five. Exhale. Inhale, we're just gonna do 50 here. Exhale, move from the shoulder and the hip joint, not the elbows and the knee. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Last set. We hold. Squeeze the legs together, please. Open your arms to a T position. Bend the knee, grab those ankles for your rocking pram. Lower the chest down. Let's do four here. Now, I'd like you to think about sending the pubic bone down to the floor right now. Pick up the lower abs. Then, stretch the thighs off the floor with the pubic bone on the floor. And then lift the upper back, middle back. And then pull the knees up higher, lifting the back higher, aiming to wanting to straighten the knee. Come on down. Exhale. Let's go three more times. Inhale. Squeezing that pubic bone down to the floor. Lift the thigh, lift the back, lift the knees higher, straighten up, gaze is forward, exhale, 
Coming down. Again. Two more. Inhale. We lift. Up. Exhale. We come down. Last one. Inhale. Pubic bone down. Thighs up. Back. Articulate up. Lift the knees. Lift the thighs. Lift everything up. And come down. Release. Okay. Stretch your legs long. Forearm to the side here. First thing is hollow your abdominal. Push off the floor. Right? Then use your arm. Push back to your feet. To your rest position. And we stay here with the arms long. You just breathe. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Okay. Tuck the toes under. Move your hands towards your knee. Push yourself upside down. Make sure your feet are parallel. And fold your body deep in the hip joint for a moment. Take an in-breath. Grab the back of your ankle. Exhale. Enjoy that limber joint that we have at the moment here. I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. And drop the body down. Now here, leg of the arms. Softening through the knee joint, we're going to roll up. First thing that's going to happen is you curl the pelvis under, curl the tailbone down, then you pick up the lower abdominal. And then middle abdominal, upper abdominal, and find yourself in a beautiful standing upright position. Imagine you have a string that comes out from the crown of your head. So I want you to just think about that string lengthening you up off the floor, feeling light in your feet. Now we're going to rise up, arms out to the side, up onto the ball of your feet, heels come up. Resist down as you lower. Two more times, please. We try to lift from the pelvic floor, abdominal, guiding you up. And you can also imagine that string in the crown of your head floating you up or lifting you up to come up into that beautiful balance. Arms forward, gaze is forward, nice and tall. And we lower down, soften the knees, and let's do a little bounce. Just bounce it. No hard rules, just bounce it. Okay, and then we'll stop. And we are done, my friend. Excellent work. That was some challenging balance work. I fell a few times. <laughs> I hope you didn't fall as much as I did. Well, thank you for joining my class today and working the whole class with me. As usual, keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself mobile today, and I'll see you back on the mat for another amazing class with me. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.